a YouTube. It is Snowfuse Max again. And today I am doing something new with the car. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is open up the trunk. Pop the trunk. Second up, right here, right here, there's gonna be a little tab. Check that out. Get that out here. Put that right there. Gain some access to back here. Some access to back here. And that's where we're gonna be. Let me see where the third screw's at. Back there. So let me turn on my flashlight so you guys can see. All right, so it will be this top one right there that you're seeing, uh, that one over there, and there is one right there. So there's just three that hold this in, and obviously all the bulbs. The bulb is a twist, pop out, and I believe same with trying to get you guys the best view I can. And this one's also a twist out. Yep. That's the backup light right there. And I'm not sure what this is for, but let's unclip it just to be safe. Oh yeah. Okay. Yep. So there's that side unhooked. And I'll leave this side hooked up so we can do a comparison. So I'm going to open up this now. see where well, it looks sealed all right here but just on the other side of the ceiling it looks a little um i don't know less taken care of i guess so next up well, i don't want to look too hard for my skinnier tool so just hoping this one's gonna run it it's a 10 millimeter by the way if you're curious which to 10. I'm moving the top bolt right now. Top bolt out. Taking out the second now. Which is one over here. 
down. Second boat, I was going to again. All right, so there's two down, and then the third one's back here. So hopefully, I can reach it with this. All I need to do is just break it loose. So I might need to get a skinnier wrench one second. Okay, so I got the three bolts out means now this tail light should stuff that's in here. Literally a rock in there. Get this piece to go through. This is going to be going through here. Over here. And then make sure the other plugs slide through also. tightening these in at least get these tens in oh no okay and then this one So now, since it's not using a regular taillight bulb, you take out your old taillight bulb and you plug it into this. This will plug into the main big thing. And you could just stick those wires, stick those wires back into there. Other than that, everything plugs in the same, um, other than just the regular uh, red bulb that you would have in the back. Everything is the same other than that one. And then once you get all those screws in, I don't have it fully tightened yet, so the fitment of it doesn't look perfect yet. But, and now the tail is like that compared to, I don't know why it's flashing. It's not flashing when I'm looking at it, but yeah. Sweet. That's awesome. Those are going to look good. And then once you're done, just put all this back in behind here. Tuck all the lining back behind. My trunk lining's all messed up for me, messing with it over a while. And then put this back on. now have one side done one side done one side not now we go over to this side so back i already took off the top bolt I'll take off this one which is already loose take 
that off. Pop that back. Twist this out. Reach up in there. Twist that out. Pop this piece out. There's one more screw hidden behind here. that loose okay that's all three right there inside wiping there we go. I mean if you're already right here and you don't get it be behind your headlight I mean taillights that often and you obviously might as well clean it out you know why not keep it clean you know best thing to do about it so now that I have this all wiped down for the most part I'm gonna grab the new tail light if you guys want to get these tail lights there's only a few left in stock on Amazon from what I know at least um, I got these on Amazon Drop that through there. Drop that plug through there also. Line up all the plugs and pop it in. I think that's supposed to go like this. Yeah, that's how that goes. Okay. All right, so now get these little screws on there just to hold it in place for now that's one and then this one has this little sleeve thing on it so you gotta slide the sleeve back onto it there you go and then you put the screw on top And then you're going to be taking out your brake light, keeping your backup light. This thing has little stickers that cover over the light, so. this little piece one. and then this is going to be connected to there we go this piece gets connected to where the original brake light was pop that through make sure it clicks in there it goes this one damn this thing don't want to go in oh there we go Then it has this resistor box. Just take this off. Make sure wherever you're about to put it is wiped off. 
stick it on. Pop all this back in. And in this video, I didn't cut it that much. Oh, I forgot I still have to tighten in all these bolts still. And you see it like overall, this video, I didn't even have to clip it that many times. And uh, you know, it only took me 15 minutes, I think, to make this. I mean, to do this, it didn't take me that long, so. until it'll stop out you'll know when you're there and then same with the top and that's tight right there and then there's one more and then that'll be it Oh, I didn't put the screw on it yet. Get it hand tightened so you can just go straight for it. Tightened in. Now we can close it all back up. And for anybody wondering, no, I'm not going to get rid of my OEM ones um, because I'm going to keep them for backups just in case. Because I have seen some reviews about these taillights uh, got not working, stuff like that. So or going out after a little bit of time. So that's why I'm doing that. And now I'll show you what they look like. So quick tip, make sure all the connections are fully all the way in. Yeah, the turn signal wasn't turning on because the connection wasn't fully in. So now that's blinking. So that's gonna be the end of this video. Uh, next up, I have some hella horns coming in. Those are gonna be coming into the front grill right there in the opening. So I can post a video on that if you guys would like. Also, I am getting the LED side markers. So those will be coming this weekend. I can post a video on that also. And is there anything else I'm getting? I think that's it for right now. And then soon to be coming will be new headlights. Um, and I'm not sure what else. Can't think of it right now, but there's definitely a lot more stuff to go. Sooner or later, I'm planning on painting the whole car, but I'm just not sure what color I'm going to go with yet. So that's that. Sorry, forgot one more thing, and I have to show you guys the backup lights. 
uh, the backup lights looking at too.